Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell was in Owensboro today to discuss his proposal to raise the minimum age to buy tobacco from 18 to 21. Now, the plan comes at the time for the state's agriculture industry as fewer farmers grow tobacco. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett has more from our Owensboro News. We've come full circle on tobacco. A major change in who can buy tobacco in the middle of change within Kentucky's farming industry. And interestingly enough, uh, we've talked to a lot of people who are farmers in Kentucky. They're all in favor of it, too. I mean, you can be growing tobacco for a living and still know that kids ought not to be able to buy. Senator McConnell says farmers and other lawmakers are showing support for a bill to raise the age from 18 to 21. Concerns over kids using tobacco and e-cigarettes is one reason he introduced his proposal. Several states, including Illinois, already raised their age to 21. I think it's a good thing. I think it's it's for a healthier Kentucky. That legal age of drinking is 21, but people figure out how to get it underage. You know, the, the kid wants it, they'll go and get somebody that's 21 or of age to buy it for them. The proposed change also comes as fewer farmers statewide grow tobacco. Senator McConnell says the number of tobacco farmers has dropped significantly in the past two decades. 20 years. We've gone from 46,000 tobacco growers to 2,600. So clearly the tobacco economy is not what it used to be in our state. He adds industrial hemp could be an alternative for farmers if they stop growing tobacco. But Senator McConnell adds he's not sure if industrial hemp will be as big as tobacco once was as a major crop for Kentucky farmers. In Owensboro, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.